Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What is up? <laughs> oh man, that's trying to sound like every other YouTuber out there. Why did it come off that way? I don't know. But as you can see in the clip before, we are at a countdown of four days left until Halloween. So we've got some stuff to do. Today we got to pick up the pumpkin so that we can carve our jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I would say either the Sunday night or maybe hmm i'm trying to decide i kind of want to do it two days before halloween because like i said in like the live chat and stuff here in florida jack lanterns just don't last very long you kind of have to make them last minute because of the sun but it's really Jesus. nice but it's really nice today like it's really breezy and i set that up for the cat and you scared yourself he set up a little um motion sensor cat thing down there for the cat bowl and just spooked himself anyway it's a little bit nice out and it's getting cooler as in 70s <laughs> so i think we'll be able to do it um probably monday october 29th so that's when we're going to carve the pumpkins but they're on sale right now at bj's they're like $1.99 and three ninety-nine. dollars so we're going to go pick those up and then i'm going to set up my graveyard in front i'm going to set up my graveyard in front of the reaper tonight in this little area got about 10 tombstones that i want to put out here so um yeah we're going to be doing that not really sure what else we're going to be doing so we'll figure it out okay Bye. all right we're here see this is the normal size ones right here look at this one right here is this still that same price? Oh, these are the jumbo ones. Okay, that makes sense. But these, the jumbo ones are only $3.99. And the normal pumpkins are only $1.99. That's crazy. Walmart's selling them for like five bucks. So it's just me and Colin. So we're going to have to pick out the boys. And Colin's pretty good at picking out a good pumpkin. I don't know if I'll get everybody a jumbo. Like this one, I like, somebody will like this one. Like this side is pretty crappy, but you always wanna make sure you have a flat, good surface on one side. This one's pretty good. You want jumbo pumpkin? You can get a jumbo pumpkin. I'm not gonna get everybody one. There's even some back in this box too. This is another reason why I love BJ's. Seriously, that sounds, well, we're not going to talk about how that sounds, but, you know, the, the wholesale store. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, this is super cheap. All right, we got our pumpkins. The cart is full. There's six of them, so one for everybody. This one's Daxton's. I think I'm just going to have him paint. Oh, look at the little curly cues on this one. Can you see? Oh, it's so cute. I'm just going to have Daxton paint his, so... We're done. Okay, so we are home now and we had some lunch and we put the pumpkins down and Daxton thinks it's a little pumpkin patch, which is so cute. He keeps like rolling them around and playing with them, so. We got that all done and like I said, I think I wanna set, did I say this? I don't remember. Um, I wanna set up my graveyard area in front of the Reaper. Oh, I did say that, I said that this morning. And um, so we're gonna do that. We had to take down the archway, the inflatable archway because my parents were staying here and my cousins were gonna come over and swim and we knew they it would get trampled um, while it was um, down so we moved it so we got to put that back up and then I got stuff at the store to make this little rice crispy treat pumpkin kit so we're gonna do this tonight and watch a scary movie or two and we got stuff to make caramel apples so today is just basically a vlog type video of you guys following us around um, it's Saturday and we're just doing all kinds of Halloween stuff because we are four days away from Halloween. We are four days away from, oh look, I'm wearing my scarf. That means 
things are gonna get fancy. Things are gonna get fancy. If you watched my uh, Halloween clothing uh, collection, you'll know that when I put this on, it's time for fancy Halloween. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but apparently it's a thing in my head. So yeah, we're gonna go while it's a little bit cool out. It's like four o'clock now. And I might even order a pizza or just make chili, something quick for dinner and go get all that stuff set up so we don't have to worry about it in a couple of days, four days to be exact. And yeah, so follow us around on our Saturday and do all of the fun activities, I guess. This is what today's video is gonna be. Okay, so I don't know if you he can hear me because it's really, really windy out right now. But um, I decided that the graveyard that I'm getting ready to make needed yeah. some green lights. So I went to go pick up some green lights from Walmart to go around the graveyard. And then right next to the lights was this. So I got a freaking fog machine. I said I wasn't gonna do it and wait until the end of the year, but this is the first thing that goes. That's what happens when she goes to the store by herself. Shut up! He said that's what happens when I go to the store by myself. I went to get dishwasher tabs and green lights and I come back with a fog machine and a bunch of candy. So, this is what we'll be looking for this year at the end of, so November 1st, we're gonna be looking for all this fog machine liquid. So we can stock up on that for next year, so. Now I've got green lights for my graveyard and a fog machine, so I can't wait to see how this looks. We're testing it out. He took like an old pool pipe and poked some holes in it and that like disperses the fog way better. You know you know what? You might have to find like a like look. something to stop that because like look, it. it's just coming look. all outside. Yeah, it would be a lot stronger everywhere. Like else. It. I know where some white tape is. If we're gonna leave it like this, I definitely want to spray paint it black because if we're leaving it like that, I, we definitely need to spray paint the hose black. I know, but that's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, update. We found a black hose that went to an old uh, shop vac and we didn't even need to spray paint it and it works out better because it's way longer. And then we attach the other half to this old pumpkin that we're not using and oh my gosh it looks so cool coming out of there so he's poking some holes and making some slits so that it kind of like fogs out this way oh my gosh it's gonna be so cool 
And then I've got those green string lights along the fence right here. So once it's nighttime, it's gonna look super cool. Or I might even end up putting the green lights along here. I'm not sure, we'll find Slowly out. Slowly getting darker so we get to see what it looks like. But here is a preview of what I have for Halloween night for all the trick-or-treaters. <laughs> when they come through there, they have gotta face this guy to get their candy. <laughs> He's about six foot something or other. And I might put some like black, uh, what you call it, you know, tablecloths back there. And then I'm gonna put a table right here with all of the goodies and stuff on it the balloons and the treat bags and stuff like that which by the way i made the treat bag video so that will be coming up after this video and i really hope you guys enjoy it because i had fun doing it except for it took me a good hour to put together 50 treat bags but anyway that you come out that video um will be up after this one so you'll be able to see what's gonna go on the table right underneath this guy. It looks so good. Um, I think the only thing that I want to do to finish it is he's got the fog machine, fog machine hooked up right here. So like the lights, like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it legit. So the only thing that I wanna add before Halloween is um, some orange lights going along these little paver things and then this will be done it looks so good guys